everyone, and welcome to, uh, well, first of all, uh, as a tradition, happy Eulalia Day to all of you, and uh, welcome back to the Amphitheater, or if it's your first time, welcome for the first time. And uh, it's Tuesday, which means that it's time for, in this case, episode 9, uh, or in some circles, 10, or in other circles, 10A, uh, if you will. This, uh, this was our MVP I for, for, uh, for number 10. Exactly. Exactly. Um, it's 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 fine. It's fine. We'll we'll deal with it in post. No big deal. <laughs> so uh, bringing it back around. So uh, excited to, to have you all here with uh, uh, with us. My brain just short circuited. So that means we're off to a great start. Uh, so um, a few things on the announcement side of things. Uh, so. Uh, first things first, um, if you didn't know, especially if this is your first time and you're like, well, this is episode nine, where the hell do I go to see the other episodes? I have some good news for you, uh, because over on the Epitheater YouTube channel, uh, you can find episodes one through eight, along with some Duval's gaming journey and a couple world building things and a bunch of other ridiculous stuff. Um, I'll probably blackmail Bill into adding uh, a video of him playing Skyrim and not tell him. Um, oops, did I say that out loud? Uh, so, you know. Devil's in the details, as they say. Um, so, um, and of course, as always, you can find our merch store at sonowhere.com forward slash the amphitheater. Um, gets, and a few of you have already. So first of all, thank you so much. Um, and that's about it. Bill, any programming things that we need to be letting the people know? Not at the moment, my dude. We are all okay. set. Okay. Cool. Um, one uh, quick programming note is that uh, Prince is now a teddy bear. That's a very good, very good, uh, very good point. Or a stoat, or you know, that's that's fine. This is fine. <laughs> oh, this is cute. Hands on the whole stream. We're just doing. This. We're just doing this. <laughs> I cannot handle how cute this is. It is pretty sweet. Ah. Um, but. <laughs> If you didn't notice, uh, we are missing one Crystal Fierre, who's uh, dealing with some storms issues uh, out in the great, I was gonna say the great white north, but I live in Florida, so everything's north. Um, but uh, we will miss the holy hell out of out of her and Sasha, but she'll be back next week. Um, but now formerly not a teddy bear, Dipples, who are you and who are you playing? Oh, hey. My name's Prince, also known as Dibbles the Dice around the internet, and I am playing Kor, uh, the paladin of peacefulness uh, for this group, uh, Sea Otter, and um, the uh, twin of one Nor, who is our resident troublemaker. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, and uh, yeah, I'm probably the reason we won't die as well. I'm just going to toss that one out there. Probably Trex. One way to find out. Anyway, troublemaker, who are you? That's that's your cue, April. Oh hi, that's me. <laughs> I told you a troublemaker. <laughs> you could that that's you could have been talking to Prince. You could. Again. It's very true. Prince reintroduced. No, I'm kidding. Yes, of course. You're right. You're I right. play Nor, the clerical otter, the twin of Core. Yay! I keep working it. I love it. I love it so Nailed much. Nailed it. Yes. Nailed it. <laughs> Profesh. Anywho, Lynn, who are you and who are you playing? <clears throat> hey, I'm Lynn, um, and I am playing Alice, the ranger squirrel. We both use she, her. Indeed. And the man on the ones and twos, making sure we're up and looking nice. Bill, who are you and who are you playing? What's going on, everybody? As uh, Jacob said, I am uh, Bill Adelphia, and yes, I am running tech today. I'm sort of like, uh, you know, a, an old man tending to his garden as as he's trying to water and and make sure the plants grow into these very beautiful, uh, you know, whatever adult plants are. Uh, tonight, I will be <laughs> also known as plants. <laughs> um... <laughs> Tonight, I will be uh, reprising my role as Tamarisk, the hair rogue, who just leveled up and has some cool things up his sleeve. Indeed. Indeed. Maybe he can show off at the talent show. <laughs> Tamarisk hates fun. <laughs> this is true. This is true. But 
So I guess it's that time, I suppose, to roll that beautiful intro. So without further ado, let's tell a Red Roll story. Knowledge me. All right, we're back. All right. Thank you, Bill. Welcome back, everybody. So, what's been happening? What's been going on lately? So, as our lovely children of destiny, aren't they adorable? Um, are set off, have set off to essentially create a resolution to the oncoming conflict with the unwanted who want to take all the walls, the walls of Southward, Red Wall, and elsewhere, bring them down completely, uh, creating a unified moss flower, at least according to them. We find ourselves in, at least for the most part, Skull Kalar, uh, this beautiful treehouse town. Uh, and the group had split up a bit, beginning to uh, one, particular person, actually, as uh, Tamaris went to go searching for answers, doing a little bit of, uh, of reconnaissance, uh, all while um, most of the rest of the folks just kind of hang out and party and try to figure out what the hell's going on. Um, but then chaos, trees, and uh, grub belly ensued, and uh, things did not go so well for him. Um, but Tamaris was not aware of that, uh, as he found the actual country is southward in decent, pretty great shape with the castle itself, uh, walls torn down completely. And then there was a uh, bit of a squeaky wheel as uh, Brother Yarek, who had been attempting to return uh, from the southward uh, with a shit ton of booze uh, and other accoutrements um, and made acquaintance and uh, offered to assist uh, Brother Yerick on his way home, realizing that a good shortcut would probably be through Skull Killar. Um, and then that's when they found out that Treants were summoned, Grubbelly lay slain, though uh, it was, though Nor, though Nor tried to bring them uh, back to consciousness, unfortunately, uh, too late. Um, all while the festival continues, the festival of Spring Awakening continues to uh, burgeon uh, on and uh, fun was had all while Dane, our lost Dormouse friend, uh, is now gone. A lot of conversation was had, catching up and coming together and uh, Grubbelly was uh, laid to rest and uh, Dane was paid uh, some respects. But uh, then what to do about the oncoming onslaught to come because as part of this reconnaissance, there's this strange dark shape that seems to be traveling uh, northwards. And there are seemingly at least one creature inside of it with a spyglass looking to the north, maybe checking for directions or searching out for other creatures. But all while this is happening, uh, the party with Brother Yurik in tow uh, searched 
uh, Grabelli's home and found several things. Um, most importantly, the truth of where he seems to be from, because he was not from Skull Kalar proper. No, 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 no. He was from seemingly from Mossflower, um, and the sense is that some far off island by the name of Terramort, as well as had a family, wife, and uh, and some children as well. Um, this was uh, would be electrifying on its own if not for a, a, a trap and uh, nearly um, maiming and hurting everyone. Um, but then uh, taking all this information at hand back to Scrag, and uh, there's even a concern of the fact that he wasn't on the Epina, but he does seem to be. Uh, and his concern now changes from trying to convince uh, the remainder of the people here to help uh, the Children of Destiny. But now it seems with that revealed, there is a need. All in the midst of closing out the night at a party filled with festiveness and food. As we discuss what happens next and the plans to move forward, we begin. So, as Sersha mentioned specifically around what it is we should we should do, what would you guys like to do now? So, I don't know if if I told you, but um, I'm not sure that this is the right thing to do, to go and, and convince them not to attack. I, I, I'll be honest, I was a bit scared, and I don't know if there's really... Well, I did see one person, but I, I, I don't know if... if they're willing to talk. They came out of, I think I did tell you this, that they came out of this big uh, cloud of, of smoke or some something or other. And, oh boy, it was um, rather intimidating. So, uh, Brother Eric's sort of like, yep, can I confirm? So it was uh, not a pretty sight. I don't know if we need a plan B here. At some level, we're going to have to confront it one way or another, either hopefully the way that doesn't involve us having to fight it. And I at least like to do that before we have to go back home and deal with it there. I, I, this isn't fun anymore. I mean, I know war isn't fun. Everywhere we go, we end up causing problems, disrupting people's lives and making things worse. Maybe that's our fault. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a bunch of awful coincidences, but I, maybe us trying to fix things is just making things worse. I, I was with you all the way up into that very last sentence. Um, I definitely agree this was not fun. And as we have discussed before, that was never my intention. Um, I'm sorry. I just cracked myself up. <laughs> um, uh, but if, if we don't intervene, who will? I mean, you are carrying Martin's swords. We cannot just give up. Hey, thank you for the cheers. Um, I think at that moment, Cork does like... I am carrying Martin's sword. He trusted me with it. I can't... I can't give up. I would say more than, than just entrusted it with you. You have a mandate to rise to the occasion and in fact we all do we all carry this mandate with us and whether it's through non-violent means or through um through the less uh let's, let's call it um diplomatic uh, solution we we have to do something 
Yeah. I mean, even though the outcome wasn't wasn't great or had a lot more consequence than we thought, what happened here, as bad as it is, imagine if that was allowed to settle, whatever they were planning to do here was allowed to settle. We didn't want any of this to happen. They forced oh. this to happen. Yeah, we didn't want it to happen, but we... Someone still died. The stories we read, it... They always have a part where it gets harder. That's... If, if it was too easy, it wouldn't be a real quest. We didn't doubt it wouldn't be a test. So what do we do from here? Do we do we continue to um, try and gather support from those that that uh, that live here in Skolkala, or or do we just venture out on our own? I mean, being magically inclined, I think they would have some idea if we were to see this, get more information on this this dark area, this dark like an object they would know more than we would any of us would so getting their help would be and also it would protect them knowing what's coming we did get some help already as norm points to oh, the glowing yeah. thing on their hand i mean we saw what they could do oh it was impressive and if we all could do that multiple times i mean they're still stopping us Uh, at this point, Scrag just has been just kind of taking in all this information. So, I think really another example uh, is: Are we do we prepare for a possible invasion? Eventually, if, if they're coming after everyone, they're not going to stop at Redwall. I don't particularly like walls or places that are hidden. Or secretive or exclusionary. Yes, I was just about to say that uh, I don't know that this place has walls, and then I remembered it's basically impossible to get in here. But it, they also said it was impossible for them to get through the walls at the other cities. We got here. We got here, and... Put it in grub belly. Yes, and if he... If... That information got out. Whatever safeguards wouldn't hold up as much as they would just be as useful as the other walls. I'm I'm not going to tell, but you know, I, once the secret's out, somehow they always end up all the way out. I am historically bad with secrets. Um, you're the reason. Yes. You'll be the one who tells. Me. And I kind of look over at Scrag and. No use to wet the dam. <clears throat> Excuse me. I what? Oh. What are you trying to imply? Oh, you're not safe. Oh. Well, I think that's a fair assessment. Sure. Now, of course, we do have some magical means, but. If things tend to escalate into combat, we do have numbers, but... What they said, that they also have magical means. Sure. I mean, that's what this... Darkness... It's this... a cloud of sorts. Uh, I, I have a question for you. Um, I've done some reading about magic since we've started getting it um, since Cor and I were children. And would there be a way, or would you know of a way, since our friends have seen them, to magically look that direction? Like um, another direction? Well, to kind of look in on the town. Oh. Then that would give us all an idea of if it was going to come this way or not. 
and I think that would help everyone. Um, not at the top of my head. I'll need to perhaps dig into um, some of the archives and see if there's a way to do that or a device. Um, if there was, though, I would assume Usanis would have created or given us one, but the cat hurt to try. That's true. Nothing to lose, right? Or everything to lose. Uh, that seems more along the lines of the situation. Did, um, Tamaris, did, the, did it see you? I don't believe so, although it is difficult to tell for sure. Um, when it took out the spyglass, um, Brother Yerek and I uh, ran off the path, and there was no reaction from them, so I don't know if, if they saw us. One good thing, if something came out of it, like a little... Somebody with a spyglass came out of it, I can... I guess we can maybe take off one idea, hopefully, that it is not a roving death cloud. That's probably off the off the ideas, hopefully. Very true. I'm grateful for that. And, uh, <laughs> Brother Eric, um, who I will apologize for uh, to Morgan and Crystal for a terrible Irish accent, but I will continue to do. Um, <laughs> what can you do? <laughs> It, the way I, I sort of take away is that it's more of, if there was one creature with a spyglass, then perhaps it's multiple creatures inside of it? Some sort of like wave? I think because they had to come out of it with the spyglass that they couldn't see out of it? That would make sense. Maybe, maybe if... Because then why would they have to leave it to look? You would think they would hide in it. That is a very good point. Hmm. I do... Well, here's here's my proposal. I, I say we go back to Mercinus and... Um, and go together as a group and we could plan together and we should be able to return back if we need to um and we sh at the very least we'll get a little bit more information yes worth a try the panel show I, I think you all know where I stand on the talent show. <laughs> so count that as Tamaris Kate's fun. Yes, we all know that. Count that as my vote. I'm going to embroider no. that um, and, uh, and as this conversation is sort of continuing, um there uh Alice is a small like tug, like on like your like a just like on like on like the small of your back. You uh, look look down, and uh, there's a uh, um, like a small squirrel babe, mm. uh, and has a large like cherry. Um, it like it like that. It's holding in like two hands, and it just like reaches out to you like these, uh, and it's darkish fur with like a like brown lines all throughout, mm -hmm. uh, and just. Like just hands it up to you. Yeah, she'll um she'll kind of kneel down to get up the level to get like, oh, who are you there? I hope that I get to grow up really awesome like you look. Oh, that's oh, it's, that's so nice of you. Okay, 
and like runs. <laughs> oh. Like like that was all the courage. <laughs> and empty, empty tank, gone. <laughs> that was. She'll hold it. It's like, and like look in that direction. Like that was. And uh, you, you look in that direction, and uh, seated uh, at the end of a long table is a uh, larger version um, uh, of a uh, uh, with they like a long gray uh, fur line going down the middle, and just kind of. She'll give a nod. And Scrag will kind of see that and. I suppose that's what creating that is what it's about. Okay. Maybe maybe the talent show isn't such a bad idea actually. Really? I mean with all this stuff happening, I think maybe from your spirit or maybe having us do something I mean at some point they're going people are going to know what we're what we're doing and showing them that they're in good hands could help things uh, Scrag will kind of nod I think we're banking on it what uh, a group uh, talent? Sure. But what? you would have to be the one then to con convince. And, and Nora's going to hold a paw up and point a <laughs> tan. Oh, like, like mm. <laughs> on the yeah, X nay on the tamarisk gay or amorous tay. There you go. <laughs> I fucked it up. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Messing up is very like... on point for Nora anyway, so it works. Yeah, it's fair. It works. That's fair. That's fair. That's amazing. I, I, maybe, maybe I can convince him. I mean, A, you know, a strong Star Wars. Guidance? Yeah. <laughs> right there. <laughs> you know, be a strong paladin, you know, that's still, you know, protector of good, that sort of thing. Show them that. Listens to you. I think. Tamarisk. Uh, yes. The little kid over there wants you to play in the talent show. Ooh. Yes. Just said that right in my ear. I look. I, mean, I look over at the kid. What's the kid doing? Um, is facing away from you, and j seems to be like uh looking at their their mother and is just like waving hands like it's hard to get the 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 audible because of the audio the words are hard um because of just the overarching nature of this loud party um but they seem to be telling a story uh to to mom and very excitedly and pointing back towards the uh your table and and you you see like the mom looking down and just nodding um okay but but cool Th this is this is not what we need to be doing right now you know that this These is dangerous people still need hope tamaris what happened? Hope that something can be normal in their lives throughout all of the pain and hardships. Well, you know what? I am going to um, I'm going to take my own advice from the last time we had one of these conversations. And instead of throwing a hissy fits, I think I'm going to maybe take a page out of the book of core. And just rely on having a bit of fun and letting that guide us. I don't know what my talent will be, though. Um, as I mentioned before, I'm very good at jumping. Um, I, I have an idea. 
And uh, Sasha will, will pipe in here. I signed up to sing. For whatever that's worth. Uh, you said you had an idea. What's your idea? Yeah. Well, I you can jump. I'm pretty strong. Um. So, uh, well, it might be a little dangerous, but I feel like we can do this together. Oh no, not. Is this what I think it is? The, oh, well, rings is it? of fire always seem to to make people very excited. So if I throw you through a wing of fire, maybe 20, 30 feet into the sky, and you go through it, people will be very excited. I think you could land just fine. Oh, or I can catch you. You had a very long day. <coughs> blood. <laughs> oh, blood <laughs> I got. a very long day. And I don't know if I can handle the ring of fire right now. Uh, not you. I'm not throwing you. You're heavy. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank God. Thank you, Static attack. Who <laughs> receives? <laughs> I'm actually very excited about that. That sounds wonderful. Um, really? Is there is there any? Oh, um, perhaps now we could do it as a group. No, maybe you could. Um, I don't know. Use all use all those new symbols to produce some sort of um, effect. <laughs> Do uh, pyrotechnics via yes. sacred flames, which is yes. radiant pyrotechnics yes. all around you. Pyrotechnics, fog, wind, that sort of thing. Oh, and maybe another light show. I could do lights. Maybe what's uh, and Alice, you're very good with the bow. Um, perhaps what it is is I carry a target <laughs> and go through the burning circle, and I hold the target, and as I go, you shoot at the targets, and you get a bullseye. Yes. That sounds great. Also, well, you're right Sasha about one thing. Well, is singing, and I'm doing pyrotechnics. And she, she'll reach out in her pack. You're right about one thing. I am good with a bow. Both kinds. And she'll hold up a fold, like a small fiddle. Oh, very cool. So oh, maybe oh. until then, I can just have a little yes. bit of music going to make it more dramatic, that sort of thing. You could be um, musical accompaniment for Sersha, and then yes. at a dramatic moment, throw that down and pull out your bow as if you were going to actually attack Tamaris. Or could you the, use the... the fiddle as a bow and string the, knock the arrow inside of the strings of the fiddle? There are five of us with druid craft. We could make this happen. Yes, <laughs> I think this could happen. Excuse me, remember, I'm still here after all. What would you have I... me do? That's Brother Yurik, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. How, how well, we I... need you. We need you to make the alchemical connect co thingies for our, our fire. Have you? Oh, I've seen this once. The um, couple of bards did it. How are you good at that? I know they used alcohol or something like that for it, but fire breathing, you know, open flame. Basically, I think they would... Sp Spit, spit it, and it would boot like a like a dragon. Or I could definitely handle that. Well, no, that's you said what I was going to say, but but cooler. <laughs> handle that specifically those words. <laughs> yes, really? yes, quite, and more reasonable as well. <laughs> I think that I've never been referred to as cool before, so I'm going to take that and put that write that down actually. And we have a performance then. Suppose we do. Listen, y'all, was... there's no way this is going to work. Oh, that would be too fast. But first, we this need costumes. Strength. We need costumes or something that matches us together. <laughs> is, is, we have to, okay, we have to put in the choreography, like, nor just touch, just guide right before it's like, got it, got it, got it. I can only guide one yeah. person at a yeah, time, so yeah, part yeah, of my pyrotechnics yeah, is walking up to guide it. Oh, by the way. <laughs> You can't yeah. just be over here all kinds of fucked up around me. Cora's gonna come over. <laughs> get yourself together. You you look bad. Uh, and I'll give you a layout and hands for 10. Uh, there you go. Oh no, that was the wrong direction. 
God damn it. And so Forget. ends the tale of Nora. <laughs> what was that? What was it? What was, what was it? A vampiric touch of time. Yeah, yeah. Dead. Amazing. Well, I'm dead now. Yeah, that's, oh, what a, what a good run. Uh, so uh, Scrag was just like, has this like air of bewilderment about him with a, a bit of a, a grin. And uh, I suppose I should, uh, do you all want to step outside and, and, and practice? Or do you want to just give it a go? Who needs practice? Practice is when you ruin your, your we best We need practice. We definitely <laughs> need practice. You don't just turn right. around and then you are a paladin. You have to practice being one. True. Yes, I rather we can. Agree. Okay, we can practice without the fire. And I also don't. The fire want... won't seem as scary. Well, and uh, brother Yurik, let's be honest. Between my booze and know your abilities, I worry about the physical ability of creating fire. It's just more about surviving it. <laughs> so I have saved one spell slot for just such an occasion. So I'm not very worried. If anyone does get hurt, I could help one person. Same, actually. <laughs> if they look hurt and get back up, that's just part of the thing. Nor yeah. just looks at Tamrisk. <laughs> is there, uh, is the talent show tonight? Okay, yes. so there's no way to regain any spell slots. I still have spell slots to, to heal also. <laughs> just <laughs> Oh, like we all were like, we but know what's gonna happen. Don't forget, we do have the the symbols that that yeah, let, oh yeah. let uh, us do cure wounds. Yeah. Yes, once. Right. Once. I think a lot. We, I think we most of us used them um, last battle. Oh, I did not though, <laughs> so I still have mine. Yes. Okay. So we have at least. We can. Okay. We have, have a couple. We have a couple. We have a couple, uh, we, we have so a couple like. Um, We've got a maximum of system. three cure wounds. <laughs> Just as long as nobody Just... takes more than 37 damage. <laughs> what are yeah. we gonna, oh my god, we're gonna... How many, that would, that, that would, how many feet would that be? If someone, it's like, if if someone gets thrown off of the, the magic yeah, tree city, then think... that's a problem. Well, I don't think I mean... Kor could throw you that many feet to take th that much damage. No way, definitely not. The DM will remember that. <laughs> Anyway, all right, so, shall we? So, are you? Are you? Do you want to get? So, it's only about it's typically scheduled for about to just wrapped up dinner, um, about an hour and a half from now. So, you have some time, um, or we could just get it, get get cracking on it. Yes, being the mayor has some 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 superlatives, I will say. Yeah, let's get it popping. Pop, yeah. All right. Mm. Uh, so he uh, stands up and uh, slams a, a tankard like very loudly, like about three times. Uh, well, my fellow wonderful beasts, um, hopefully your day uh, has been, well, as we know, very interesting. Um, some not so... Uh, not so, going not so well, but as some would say, the show must go on. Not that we forget who and what we lost. Speaking of that, grabs a tankard. Today. There's a, like a, a bit of a murmur and, um, there's even like a maybe a, a whisper of like who's that, and someone's like, Shh. <laughs> so um, given that uh, we've had a bit of a few issues, I think uh, and now that your bellies are full and ready for entertainment, I think it might be time to start our talent show. And uh, you actually see um, this small mouse wearing um, a. Um, like a what appears to be a small, uh, like, uh, what's the term? Um, bandana, like, 
around uh, around their their head. So it gets up, and uh, one second, we've uh, it's only polite that we had our guests start the show, and you see her kind of pout and sit back down. Um, and for those of you that were paying attention when uh, Seisha went up to uh, uh, put in uh, for the song, uh, this was the person that was right in front of uh, right in front of her. Um, so, um, what should what shall, shall and one second and runs up to you. How shall I introduce you? The Children of Destiny. <laughs> kind of like. Oh it's like God. takes it back for a second. Well, isn't that on the nose? I kind of like it though. Uh, and he'll head up to the front. Um, bit of a group showing uh, to kick off our evening together. And uh, Cast Mage Hand moves the podium off to the side, and uh, so that way there's room. So please welcome our guests. And uh, in time, future saviors, the children of destiny. And there's a smattering of applause. What would you like to do now? <laughs> All right. Um, so Tamers probably goes to one side of. Are we indoors? Yes. Okay. Goes uh, on. With the exception of uh, not having a roof above you. Okay. Cool. Uh, goes to one side of this of this enclosure, and gets in like a running pose, and gets gets set. I think I calculated how we have to start this so I can guide the most amount of people. Um, Sersha and Alice start playing. Okay. And mm -hmm. then. Core gets ready to throw. Yeah, I'm so in the Tamers position runs. to catch him as he runs, essentially. <laughs> guide Core immediately. He mm -hmm. throws Tamrisk. Alice does the bow. Guide Alice. So you're doing drive-bys, <laughs> essentially. Because <laughs> <Yeah, like, laughs> oh, uh, uh, you'll have used yours. Alice will use this. My he. And my in between, I'm I, popping off he. sacred flames. I, I made that noise, that, that laugh noise, because I just realized we are like inches away from our stage name being Destiny's Child. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's why I was supposed to. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> yep. No doubt about that. At that all. was not an accident. I love it. I love so, it. I love it. Um, so. Oh shoot! So, I yeah, forgot. So, we need a we need a ring to, to, that needs to be put under we, fire. We drew and crafted one. Drew and crafted the okay, cool. ring. Soaked it in You're booze. Good. It's great. Right? Yeah. And uh, um, <laughs> brother Eric's like huh. children of destiny and brother Eric. <laughs> like he said, says it out loud and lights, <laughs> lights the ring on no, fire. You're one of us too. Yeah. Yet, I mean, oh, we didn't oh, we didn't yeah. limit ourselves by putting a number us. on it. Oh, really? Yes. Like, there's a, and like, it's there's like a few whispers as like this conversation's happening, like during the performance, and, um, and Sarsha singing the whole time. <laughs> right. This is a performance and, about friendship. Yeah, and uh, for Trust the Trust for the uh, fire, uh, and I'm so sorry, Crystal, uh, but you rolled a seven. On oh no! <laughs> so it is. For the for the fitting. Is, um, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Roll okay, let's see. Let's, 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 let's complete. It would be only fitting if we both did not. Yeah. Just. Well, to be fair, you did guide her. So let me, I did not add a D4 to that. So I will do that now. That's oh, not dead. Yeah. It's, that, that's 19. A, that's okay. a, a nine. <laughs> okay, that's better. It's a little better. Um, Is it? <laughs> it's a little and, better. It's... And what, uh, Alice, what'd you roll? 19. 19. So she's having, uh, so you begin to just, and this is probably not your first performance, um, but typically, well, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Have you performed in front of uh, a crowd before? I would say if a crowd considered people dancing, maybe like a few people. Okay, sure. Like around a campfire sure. or something like that. This is sure. probably way more people. Sure, travels. Sure, absolutely. Yeah. So um, as you begin to, you find a tune and begin to, bring the noise and she's sort of improvising a song and tune as she goes and like loses you finds you loses you finds you um 
which is I'm I'm confident Crystal had a song that she wanted to sing too, so I feel kind of bad. But the dice say what they say. Um, and uh, as the tune sort of carries and then uh, crescendos, what's happening next? Uh, I reach over and grab like a wooden plate or something. Or if there's like okay. if there's like a stool with the thing on top, I'm gonna take one of those. I basically just need a circular the thing on top. Wooden, yeah, um, of the stool. You would take it off of the. Okay. Well, if it were removable, which it likely is. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> oh, can I? Can I? Can yeah. I retroactively yeah. add something? Sure. In the prep, uh, we would have found a, a route. We would have found a target. The prep I would have we just walk gra- stage. No, we get got to be dramatic. We grab someone's plate no, no, no. that they're eating off of and just go for it. <laughs> yes, that, absolutely. Okay, that. I grab Never it mind. and I <laughs> like, <laughs> scrape off some of the mutton and got to make up. <laughs> make them, just not, make them think that we're just doing this on the fly. Even though we with the my salad. <laughs> I'll make it up to you. No, that's you not his voice. <laughs> anyway, um, grab it. And then I sprint towards Cora, and I uh, like my goal is because I assume you've got your your hands sort of like together like this, and so I'm gonna yeah. aim my foot into the crook of his hands, and yeah, go that way. Okay, go that way. I, I missed like the, the is it are you uh, yeeting yeah. him yeah. into okay. the air. Okay. 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 Then he yeets, and I I use my jumping uh, ability here, and I'm aiming for the the circle. Beautiful. Um, Go ahead and make an acrobatic check at advantage for me. I'm going to roll my athletics to do the yeeting. Please. You are guided. I'm guided, and I'm going to blow my inspiration, because I don't trust these digital dice. Uh, Yeah, sure. So I got a 16 acrobatics. Okay. 16? Okay. All right. Core? Oh, hell. Hell yeah. yes. Uh, Ooh. Toss on that yeah. D4. Yeah, just to sure. make this even nicer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, damn. That's a 26. Right. That's a 26. So high. All right. Yeah. Um, First bunny in space. That's I am a paladin of peace. I can't let this man die on my watch. Nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Um, you didn't I'm, hurt him. Gravity did. I'm actually with that role. I'm gonna give you narrative control here. Describe it to me. Okay, so I take Tamarisk, and as soon as he goes to uh, hand on on the foot, send him up into the air. Tamarisk, uh, essentially riding all the way with this, does you know some extremely acrobatic shit. Maybe does a few rolls in the air, twists. Goes through the ring of fire, spinning around backwards with the plate in the hand. And Alice gets to shoot at it as he just comes out of this incredibly acrobatic okay. move. Okay. Not even Absolutely. close and, to hitting the ring. And you all feel the, the the crowd who was initially pretty nonplussed. Then the fire rages and there's a sense of danger and... No, they're really not going to. And then, and then the crowd just silences for a second. And as Tamarisk swirls through, and Alice, take your shot. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna put a little bit of like pizzazz. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna yeah, try and as, stare it, as it, Nor it, slides it, over. <laughs> Nor's just like spinning, like yep. la 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 la. Yep. It's like a dance. Yeah. yeah, I'm just dancing. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna staring strike it, so I'm gonna just like see if I can like have it hit it with thing and then just pull it toward me. Meanwhile, Brother Yark's doing this. <laughs> of course. And Sarsha is singing the Numa Numa song. <laughs> Damn! All right, let's all right. Let's put. Let's see. Jesus, a twenty-seven. Holy good lord! What? Absolutely ridiculous. So, I'm gonna give it to you as well. Give it to me. What happens? All right. So, um, Alice just pu- pulls back the bow, but she taps it with her finger. So when she lets go, 
she hits it at the very end of this rope on the end of this boat this uh arrow there's like a long rope of like twine and she'll pull it back she'll spin around and she'll kind of like frisbee it back onto where it came from before oh that's so rad oh my god and as the salad just explodes off of the plate and a bit of it sort of the roughage hits the the, the fiery circle uh burning into nothingness as the plate lands back as the uh, uh gentleman who is this um fairly uh tall stoat uh uh just looks down completely slack jawed and just like and as like the the moment settles as people are processing what the hell just happened i don't really like silent anyway and then the crowd explodes with adulation and if there was a proud like papa like facial expression scrag's wearing it and it's just like it just The children of destiny, everyone. <laughs> and it just conti- like cop can continue, standing ovation, and then the standing ovation peers down for a second, and then there's a, f- a whisper of encore, 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 and then it ch- and it escalates into a chant of encore, encore, encore. Else is gonna look at the others and like we did not practice for another court. We don't have another thing. Nora's gonna lean over to um towards the group. Um maybe now is when we tell them that we'll do an encore when we come back from our secret mission if they help us. Uh I I don't know if that would be a good idea, but they they like us right now and it seems like a, a perfect time. Or we could throw you back in the air. That would also again? be fun. <laughs> you asking the DM, <laughs> or are you asking everybody else? I'm asking everyone else. But if the DM okay. wants to tell me, that's just as oh fine. no, I'm not here because I'm I'm well, doing the thing like here. where I forget what place I'm in, uh, <laughs> like the yep. the view. Just not here. Absolutely <laughs> not here. Definitely not here. Or, or or perhaps we use it as an opportunity to encourage them to. Um, to prepare as we do our secret mission. Um, as you mentioned, uh, you know, we, we have received some help here, um, uh, but core to your point, I also think we've given them hope and <laughs> this feeling of hope um, could be very powerful to get them to, um, to understand that- I'm doing something else! There is danger. Hey, Tamaris, what's wrong with your face? The, the corners of your mouth are going up. <laughs> <laughs> um people of this land my name is Kor uh we've been happy to perform for you but we must inform you that your land is also in danger much like ours there are people who wish to impose their ways upon you. And for what it's worth, they may not be wrong on some of the, what they want to do, but how they want to accomplish it has not been very nice. And we need your help to stop them, to find a way to find peace between peoples of various lands and to bring the world together. We are, uh, I and my sister are from Red Wall Abbey. They intend to take the walls down from the Abbey. They believe walls keep people apart and they're not wrong, but Blowing the walls apart is. 
destroying someone's way of life is. So maybe we can find a more agreeable way to handle things. But I'm not necessarily that good at those sort of things. And I'm trying my best here with my friends. And we're hoping that our performance has inspired you to help us do just that. The encore chant is silenced by your your speech core, and there's a minute silence as everyone sort of looks to each other after processing both your performance and your speech. And I need everyone individually to do to roll a persuasion check with advantage and add a d6 okay. inspiration dice to it okay. as well. So I automatically get advantage on charisma checks? You do. Can I get triple advantage? Yes, you can. Awesome. With that performance, cheat. Fine. I'm okay. also going to guide myself. Damn, that was both sides. Damn, that 19. was a weird. Yeah. That was a 19. weird ass. All right, let me see. Plus, that was 30. Oh, All right. shit. What? Oh, shit. I rolled a crit and a, I rolled crits on both sides for that was a, that was a heavily weighted, like, advantage. Wow. Uh, um, 22 for Tamarisk. Uh, Sasha rolled a 21. Um, actually, yeah. So, yeah, so there's that. Uh, 21, 22. Uh, Alice, what'd you roll? 30. 30. <laughs> Nor? 21. 21. And, Just give uh, Alice whatever they want. So we all did Alice well. is now the yep. queen of Skullcalar. <laughs> Tamarisk. That's the name what of the roll? place. Thanks. <laughs> you found it. Better late than never, eh? <laughs> 22 for Tamarisk. 22. Um, and oh, hi. I forgot. How dare I, Brother Eric? I forgot to roll for you. Let me do that really fast. Um, Brother Eric just where... dancing, just drinking on stage with us. Right? Yeah, he's just having a good old time. Good old time. Um, ooh, glad he had advantage because he rolled a one. Um, oh. Oh. And then. Rolling 18, not too shabby. Uh, and this, the, uh, the air and the silence is broken uh, by the small uh, squirrel babe just saying, yeah! Everyone's like, yeah! And there's this like, this like uproarious cheer and uh, Scrag with that air of bewilderment. And really for the first time, um, which Nor to your point around like, uh oh, is like Tamara's broken because his he's his face is doing a weird thing. Um, for the first time since you've known Scrag, um, a true grin crawls across his face, and you do see the outline of a bit of uh, uh, well up. We're with you. Whatever it takes. And then he, and then there's this, this uproarious cheer and someone just goes, uh, well, tell us show over. <laughs> Ain't gonna be that. <laughs> Everyone's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you actually see in the corner, if you noticed the mouse earlier. <laughs> just, just, that, that's it. <laughs> Nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> um, whatever, whatever the version of walking away from the explosion and not looking back, that's that's what I want to do right now. It's sort of like. OK. Yeah. Know. OK. Um, <sighs> so shall we go to. Um, to the forest again. It's oh, getting kind of late. Shouldn't we go to bed first? Yes, we should absolutely go to bed first. But, um, yes. Let us get some rest then, and 
then we'll do what we need to do tomorrow. You all were so good. Are I thought I was going to kill you. I'm I so did. High. I'm so worried. No, oh, that was actually really fun. That's so cool. Everyone was so cool. <laughs> Cool, you threw me right, right, so cool hard. Now. Yes. <laughs> I, I'd never done anything like that before. I thought I was going to throw you into fire and you are going to be like, I was going to smell burning hair. And I don't mean that as a joke. I thought I was going to smell burning hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, and, and Alice, I, I was so amazed at the way Accuracy. that you were. I was right in the center. Amazing. Ah, oh, thanks. You should have solved the contest. Also had some help with that one too, so can't discount that. Also, good job making good good job making the runs. Good dancing. Everyone did such a good job. We are such a good team. We can do anything. People believed in me. They listened to my speech. Yeah, that was, was very inspiring. I I I made that up on the spot. I was very very scared. You did a great job. You know, did team. You even need any help? I if I am very proud of us as a team. We've definitely had our differences before, but the way that we did this was very impressive. And whatever we have coming up next, that's going to um, uh, that that we're going to face. Core, we have given ourselves hope. Single tear. We did, and, didn't uh, we? <laughs> Long rest now. <laughs> Long rest. So, uh, speaking of that, uh, so Scribe comes up to you. Uh, you don't really have a um, place to rest, do you? I mean, there are trees everywhere, uh, but that's just me. Why don't we uh, have a maybe a nightcap? in celebration of your success. And uh, I have a few extra bedrooms. I will absolutely cap this night with whatever you have to drink and food. Lots of food. <laughs> more food. I know I just ate, but more food is always good. <laughs> Going to bed on an empty stomach is a terrible idea. Oh. All right. And, uh, and he'll kind of look to everyone. Enjoy the remainder of your evening. I'm getting a bit old, so I'm going to retire. Maybe do a... You know what? Don't worry about it. Enjoy the rest of the festivities. Uh, uh, I'd say don't blow the roof off the place, but... And then he starts to walk. So, uh, real quick, I did an insight check on that little don't worry about what I'm doing. Um, and, I, <laughs> and I got an 18. Um, interesting. Hmm. Get your freak on. Ah, get your freak on. <laughs> so you, it, it... One second. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. No. oh, no. We uncovered What's the plot. Happening? No. What did you do, Tamarisk? So, you... You really, truly experienced what is likely the first time he's had his guard down. Um, it he says that he says it's with like maybe for the first time carelessness. Ah. Um. He is a prideful individual for sure, but. Something's up, but you're not sure what that is. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. So. Uh... <sighs> Do you want to get to Nightcap, uh, or would you like to have that in my place? And, uh, Brother Eric, it's like, we have an entire thing. I think we're all right with traveling, I believe. Unless anyone has an, ejection, an objection. 
I'm I'm really torn because I want to follow him. Do it. Do it. I mean, where tell us? Like have? Uh, no, definitely not. Uh, I probably would just sort of, uh, you know, I'm extremely tired. I'm gonna go to go to bed as well, and slip well, off. To be clear, he offered his place. I didn't. I so um, he, I, with, that's what he made by extra extra bedrooms. Okay. <clears throat> so that's up to y'all. You can, as Alice said, there's plenty of trees. Uh, up to you. What do you want to do? So if you do accept it, you could just say accept it, and then it wouldn't be a weird follow. You would just follow him like a normal person. Yeah. Uh, like a normal person. <laughs> you wouldn't be sneaky. You would just follow be Follow him like a normal, like... not suspicious person. Yeah, but that's not really am... my particular idiom, you know? Like, I... <laughs> what if you just, you say, just say you like sleeping in trees as well, and then we can... <laughs> You want to follow the man? You just got an invitation to his house. Just accept it. <laughs> but no, it's not. Just it's not. It. It's not. Fall, it's not sneak following. They know you're there. <laughs> you can sleep in my house. No, I only want to break into it. <laughs> just one. <wanted to. laughs> I want to sleep in, t- in your house after I've come through a window while you weren't yeah. looking. Okay. Without your permission. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too. See, I'm too cool to to, to, to go I, in I, with permission. I want to hide in your shower behind the curtain and sleep there. Oh, this is very creepy. Um, so, no, I I think Tamarisk wouldn't think of being a normal person, so I think he would sneak behind and, and follow. Okay. What about Wonderful. the rest of you? Do we see him being weird? No, um, this would be him being normal. Honestly, yeah, let's like, be real. Yeah, this is, this is yeah, like everything. Right. You're too, actually right. Too, 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 like, too, he's too, been too. more weird recently I've, with I mean, this yeah, yeah. smiling yeah, and, yeah. like, yeah. being inspirational yeah. and shit. Did Tamaris come back or is this a... Or is this a... Is this a doppelganger? I would like to attack Tamaris. <laughs> Yeah, as soon as you oh, start yeah. scooting if off you, the, the If you creep, knock him out, the disguise will come like, all right, come <laughs> Not even thinking about it. Just whatever. I want to go drink and have a nice night and... Mm-hmm. All right. We'll end up where we end up. <laughs> so, um, for those of you that are following right behind, I'll, I'll put it that way. I'll keep it, I'll keep it simple from, from that perspective. Um, is... is Typically, as you you went up to the northwest to uh, uh, of this large treehouse town to um, discover and investigate uh, Grubbelly spot, um, and true uh, true north would be uh, up above uh, the trees. Um, where you're headed is uh, as you follow him, pulley system, um, and eventually, as these is every. Every house seems to be pretty identical, fairly small. Um, And uh, this includes uh, this one, Um, which probably outside of it, considering the last time you were in a hovel like this, it was more of a studio, if you will. Um, um, And he uh, takes you to and uh, opens the door without really any fanfare. um, And... uh, Opens the door and come on in. Um, and for the purposes of this, Tamarisk, um, are you currently not to be found, or are you are you lagging behind? What's the situation? Yeah, I would have already left. Okay, so in that case, he he kind of looks. Is Tamaris not joining us? Well, I think Tamaris likes to. I guess not. You know, yeah, you know, cool up. Need some alone time after it's such it's a lot of people. Yeah, it's usual. Oh. Yeah, I I completely understand that. Um, I'm actually a bit of an introvert myself. Anyway, I'm assuming you all walk in. Mm-hmm. Um, and there is a immediate as you cross the threshold, an immediate difference as and it begins to not make sense because you opened a door like this uh, a short hour and a half, two hours ago, and it was this 
itty bitty studio and you walk in and it's two stories there is a like a very large open living room uh with carpet and um various uh, textiles a um fairly decently sized uh kitchen and uh several hallways that go off uh towards essentially just forward from where you are from as you walk in um and a set of stairs that uh goes uh goes up and um strewn throughout the living room is a large uh couch a few um a few scrolls and um and a couple of candles well you can all we can lounge here um i gotta run upstairs and uh go grab the beverages um and uh brother eric's like you don't need to grab anything i've got it all handled oh uh, yeah that's sorry i forgot um well in that case then um if you want to Wow, that's a loud purr. Um, <laughs> if you if you want to take a look at the uh, the bedrooms just down the hallway um, and uh, choose one. I just picture in my head thirty seconds behind us, Tamaris like very slowly up the right, <laughs> right to make it creak. Yeah, just like yeah, right below exactly. Us. Rambo, like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, just like through the window. <laughs> Hmm. So, um, hmm. I was wondering, um, oh, this is Brother Eric, by the way. Uh, I was wondering if, uh, perhaps you wanted to, uh, try something I've been working on. As our nightcap. This, uh, really dark, uh, this really dark stout. That will, it's a good nightcap before bed. But don't forget to drink water, so that's why you don't wake up with a headache. Because, though, magic stuff, notwithstanding, all of the crafts type myself, and um, he'll kind of reach in and grab a, a pretty decently sized, um, starts with a G, Gra something, growler, growler, words, yeah, yeah. Uh, and um, begins to pour this almost like large soup consistency. Uh, very thick uh, stout that is uh, poured out for all of you. Looks very velvety, uh, dark in uh, consistency. All right. Bottoms up then, yeah? I'll take that challenge. Earthier, the better. She'll drink it. All right. <laughs> or just sniffs hers and hands it to four. Okay. Um, Allison Core, give me a concept. Good save. Chug it. Chug it. Chug it. Chug. <laughs> 21. Damn. 21. Steel. Just. <sighs> and the taste is unreal. Like you, you hit this uh blueberry and then strawberry and like in a row and then them together and then the alcohol <laughs> and then it all kind of comes together right at the end oh i don't know if i'm ever going to make anything better than this oh i this is impressive it's this is wonderful. Uh, I'm like here, Noah, and I pour. Can, no. can can we get one for Noah? And it's... and I hand it to Noah, and then I, <laughs> I'm like, Noah, don't worry. Um, or hands it to Cor. <laughs> Bippity boppity boop. No, it's and it's it's great. it glows a little bit, Noah. And I was like, all right, now it's non alcoholic. <gasps> oh. And, and Noah drinks You're it. Like... I, I, I did your my food and drink. Or it's just more. It's or it's strawberries. <laughs> Amazing. Now yeah. not alcoholic, but Nora's like, this is just straw. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. 
And that was my last spell shot. I used it hey. to purify. <laughs> now it's combat. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then a Tarrasque falls through the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and uh, he's, uh, um, this guy is just uh, sipping on uh, the beverage. I did not roll for him. Um, oh, that's interesting. Um, he failed. He advantage against, oh, no. How does he not have advantage against booze? <laughs> um, no, no, not, not Brother Yarek. Um, oh, okay. I'm talking about Scrag. Um, uh, Brother Yarek is immune. <laughs> um, even though he didn't get a chance, Morgan get, gets to play play him. If you didn't realize, uh, he's a drunk, drunken master monk. Uh, just so you know. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, uh, so uh, Scrag fails his con save. Whew, that's uh, that's spicy. You know, I've actually never, never had anyone um, come by before. Um, again, could not appreciate uh, you all more for what you've done. Um, it's really quite unbelievable, actually. So thank you. Well, hey, thank you for well, your help. Well, we have too. a. I, Tamaris rem reminded me that I have a bit of a responsibility. We all do, and so, yes. Also, thank you for the patience that, with all the accusation on what happened today, it could have gone way worse. So thank you for being as patient with us and seeing it through. Of course. Um, I think it's, it sort of goes un, unsaid that this is, um, this is not exactly an easy thing for you all to do. Um, I mean, uh, children of destiny, you're, you're young, um, but very brave. And really, if I'm being honest, and you just kind of like switches the, 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 the stout, uh, I, I don't really think that I'm a particularly brave person, um, but uh, you all give me resolve. Um, he's, he, he kind of holds on the um for a while. <laughs> Grab Billy wasn't the only family man. And just sits with a beverage. You have children? I, I did. did. Did something happen to them? So, um... You know how I mentioned that I've known Grubbelly for as long as I can remember? He's not the only one not originally from here. That makes a lot of sense now. I Um but they found me uh outside um in the forest along with Let me just like he trails off for a second. Takes a long Come on, sip. Get down. Come on. Get out of my and Come on. Yeah, my um Come my on. wife uh Sandy was uh was with me uh along with my children. Um but uh, they uh, they didn't uh, whatever happened. It was just me. I don't really remember before. Uh, 
right. mystery that I've been, frankly, unsolved for me. But through some strange happenstance, I found myself the leader of our people. Well, you must never... have done something to help them then. Something good? I'm honest where I deemed it necessary and not so when not so necessary. But everything I've done is to protect what we have and what we know. And based off of your, frankly, uh, ability to come here, it uh, seems that even that was not enough. But with your help, it will be. I'm, I'm sorry. That's no, okay. All right. It's okay. Does Thank it you. seem okay? I don't think I'd ever be okay after something like that. Tragedy has a way of defining you. But it's up to you to allow what volume that takes. Because it could crush you. Probably why it took a liking to you all in the first place. Nope, that's actually not even true. I just wanted to see what you were about first. So pretending to have an open mind was very easy. But... Regardless, here we are. Sorry to end on a low note after a wondrous display, but I thought it was important for you to know kind of where where I am. I understand. I thank you for trusting us with this. Funny that um, Tamaris isn't here, because he's the one that's not great with secrets, I suppose. But it's okay for him to know as well. Not up to. And uh, you hear the sound of snoring as Brother Yerick is just like on the couch. <laughs> Long day. Indeed. And Scrag will stand up. Help yourself to anything. And, uh, what do you say? What would you like for breakfast in the morning? Make me the foods of your people. I am always down to try something new and different. Make right. it spicy if you can. Not typically, uh... But... I think we can make something work. By the way... He like, stands up and he begins to kind of walk towards the stairs. How... Who did you come up with Children of Destiny anyway? It was something that uh, Cord and Tamrisk were talking about. About us acting like children and that we have a destiny to fulfill. And it just seemed like a good play on what he was saying to us. And it just One night I had a dream of a queen bee who stung me with inspiration and great musical performances. And it was just on from that point.
That energy wave. And he turns and walks upstairs. And you hear the, a door close. I think Nor would be not far behind. Well, I, I'm going to go find a room. Um, I'll see you all in the morning. Right? Yeah, Brother Yark is toast. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I, mean, that, put, that... I would have put a blanket oh, over Brother okay. Yark before <laughs> yeah. goes sure. to bed. Just a little... Sure. Oh, the poor... I'll tuck him in. Sure. Uh, Cor, what about you? Alice? Oh, yeah, Cor's crashing. Wherever okay. there's a comfortable place to crash, oh. like, Cor does not need okay. a room. It's just okay. a soft spot. Yeah, there's plenty. Alice? Else is gonna find like you know we're ready for probably a really soft bed so you know she's gonna just take this opportunity just to like yeah just luxury down that soft like mattress yeah if you if you those of you that did head down uh that corridor uh it ends with uh a, three uh bedrooms of similar size um and in every single one there is a small desk and you see uh, a drawing of uh, a family of foxes. Tamarisk. Yo. Where are you headed? I'm following that dude. So, that dude being? The one. Scrag? Oh. Yeah, I guess I misunderstood because I thought uh one second. Yep, sure, totally. Dad life. <laughs> DM, is the picture yeah. of the fox is the same in all the rooms? The same picture? Um you um you you take the time to kind of scan and look around and it's the same. Okay. It's the same. Um so you actually weren't following Scrag. You were following the person that uh was because the the cause the person that said uh that that kind of gave you pause was Scrag. Okay. Um Well that's what I thought. And then you were like, yeah. Well, everybody then goes with Scrag and I'm like, Oh, wait a sec, hold on. I yeah, I guess I misunderstood. Um yeah. So, so 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 I thought the intent was you were gonna not appear so that way you have some opportunity to do some sneaking around. No, no, definitely not. Like okay. I thought he okay. was gonna go off and do something shady and Oh no. Okay. <laughs> so no. that's fine. We can just retcon that I that I went along with. I, I wouldn't have added anything of value to that conversation, so that's perfectly fine. <laughs> Would you have so, drunk anything? Would you have drank in the pizza? Yeah, because he was like, well, I'm going to go and do... Constitution save! <laughs> yeah, would you would you have drank in the stout? Uh, yeah, probably. Make a constitution saving throw. Cool, got it. Uh, 11. Oh. 11. Cool, 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 cool. So it all makes sense, because you fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I probably you took, and Craig. Like, half of it and was like, all right, guys, I, I am out. Uh, peace. And I went, Nor will put a blanket on Tamrisk as well. There she you goes go. To bed. Yep. Just, Nor yep. just put blankets on everyone. The blankets on everybody. Uh, so. Oh, in uh, that case, then Cor goes to a room. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Uh, Two drunken you... people passed out drunk. Ah, yeah. this is we not all, the space for we me. All, we all know that. We all, we all been there. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going uh, to bed. That's fine. Um, so, as uh, the peace of sleep. After a very, very long day begins to take place, all but for one of you, because Alice, your sleep is not dreamless, and we will resolve that when we come back from break. All right. Oh. <laughs> Man. That was the first half, y'all. Damn. <laughs> I just I'm glad push that long rest button so bad. Like you just like how many do you have? How many? How many are, are our two casters running on on empty? Hey, I'll put it this way: 
it's nowhere near as bad as the longest day in party history when in my Duval Dragons campaign they went eleven sessions without a long rest because fuck? Shit, shit was happening, man. They, that is not shit, a goal, Bill. It's <laughs> not a. It's not a goal. Was no, any of them? Were any of them a warlock? That, that, that's um, the worst. No, that's it's like my, actually that's not true. Nothing. Uh, Maddie is a source a source lock. So so yeah. They can't do anything. They can't do anything. Got, I'll just blast. Um, I anyways. got two spells. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, we will get. We will go hang out in Alice's dreamscape when we come back cool. from break. So stay tuned. It's about to get interesting, I think.
<laughs> and April's like, oh, 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 oh. and we welcome are back. back. I hope that's what right. they came back to. Just me going, oh, mom, 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 mom. <laughs> 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 Professional streamers. No. Um, so welcome back. Uh, so, um, now that our lovely children of Destiny have uh, defeated Yay Old Talent Show, um, undefeated, one and zero. Um, pretty handedly, I might, I might say. Pretty, I would say, yeah. Boy, that poor mouse just wasn't ready. Wasn't ready. I will say that she's probably very upset because she did not know that there were group entries allowed. So she will come back with revenge at, at a, a dramatically appropriate time. Let me tell you. That's a season two thing, though. <laughs> we'll be anyway. ready. We're yep, gonna right. Practice. Exactly. We're going to practice. <laughs> Bring it on the musical? No, sorry. Anyway. So. Our lovely children of destiny all uh, asleep after a very long, arduous day. Um, and a bit of new information um, about Mayor Scrag. And for the majority of them, it is peaceful, dreamless sleep. All except for Alice. So Alice, initially, it is peaceful. And then you begin to dream a very common scene. Whereas you are, you've found this super cozy soft bed. It still feels like your back is on this typical bark that you find looking out to the stars in the sky, comfort. And then there's a flash of light and you're at Redwall Abbey. A little shorter than you are now. Dibbon and age. And you're out on the Abbey Pond and right in front of you, storming towards you is this very familiar uh, hedgehog that walks up to you and just pushes you to the ground. Wow. One day, Alice, one day. What? One day you're gonna have an uh, idea of doing something. Hmm? I just did something. I pushed you to the ground, and you know who this is. Mm -hmm. This is Burn. I haven't been able to prove, but I know what you did, and I'm gonna tell everyone that you are a troublemaker and a thief. Hey, I'm not a thief. Two, first one's true, so good luck with that one. Storm's off. About a moment later, you're seated at um, for a very familiar area, um, just outside of Cavern Hole. Uh, as uh, Finney and your father, or Da. What is this I hear about a, a short sword gone missing? Short sword? Someone take something? People, it's maybe be saying it was you, Alice. I mean, I. Oh, you know what? He's being a jerk. Now, you know I don't care what people think of us. But this does not help. So for the sake of truth, do you have it? Or did you steal it? Or did you stow it? Did you borrow it? I hid it. 
you can't climb, so I hid it in the tree. So he walks by that tree every single day. So you know what? If he wants to look for it, he'll be walking by it every single day, multiple times. He won't have any idea where it is. And I, you know, it's not on me. So maybe it was, maybe it was something else. And you see him fight a proud grin off of his face as he's in the middle of scolding you. Alice, we... That was, that's pretty good, actually. He kind of, uh, just kind of leans down, like takes a knee and kind of, uh, ruffles your head for, for a second. Can you give a heads up next time, though? What, like a like a note telling you where where it is. More of a, by the way, this absolutely awful hedgehog is being a bit of an ass, and I'm going to show him a lesson by making him misplace his short sword. Thanks, love you, bye, Alice. That more of that. So you mean I can do it again if I tell you? That's not exactly what I mean to portray. But you have a vivid imagination. Okay, so I'll next time someone is mean to me and I take something from them, I'll leave you a note and tell you where it is. You know, and just like put the fist out. <laughs> this is not. This is not what you should be <laughs> And as the fists connect, the scene swirls again. And you are back to back on the road, surrounded by bandits, uh, bow in hand, and there's a, a collision of arrows hits your father in the side, uh, in the hip, and he falls to one knee, ah, crying out in pain. A moment that is not too far off of a week ago, perhaps. <laughs> her eyes go wide just screams Duh! and she'll like she will get on top of get in front of them with their shaky with her bow what are you doing you need to run but you still have you I assume you fire yes 100% and you hit all of them <laughs> and they fall motionless to the ground heavy breathing one day you will listen to me damn it i'm not leaving you i don't care if you tell me to leave in world again All that you think in your unconscious mind is life continues to be about choices. And regardless of who and what agrees, those choices are still yours. And though eventual, the remainder of your life goes Night of rest goes without issue. Yeah. And with that, a long rest has been achieved. Awesome. Oh, oh wait. So we all begin to uh, wake up. Uh, to the sounds of, actually, rather the smells of what can only be the nutty smell of hazelnut. As uh, those of you that are in the living room uh, see uh, at Scrag is in the kitchen uh, slicing a, ro um, a large 
um, um, loaf, words, words loaf of baked bread, and each lo each uh, slice has these is covered in beech nuts and hazelnuts as well as cranberry, and um, and he pours a few glasses of elderberry and plum cordial. And off to the side is a uh, large bowl of uh, wild berries as well. Before everyone gets to the table, you just hear a loud scream from Alice's room. Uh, is, assuming Tamarisk is awake, he's going to run in there. Yes, sure. the bed, the bed. Uh, Alice, are you okay? What's wrong? The bed, the bed. She'll like put, she's like holding her um her head and she has like these flowers and that. I think the bed cursed me. I think the bed cursed me. Uh, uh I take out my rapier. You? Okay. <laughs> these weren't here. Um do they wait, hold on. Do hey. they hurt you or can you take them off? I, Is... She like she'll pick one that's like out that's like Pulling a hair out, but these, this bed. Very pretty. So, and right behind you uh, is Scrag. Is everything okay? I, I think there's something wrong with the bed because I went to sleep normally, and she, she point, and then I woke up like this. I and, like he's he's like looking to all of you for like some sense of like reaction yeah. or like I was standing there with my rapier out and and in like fighting position, and I just kind of drop my rapier down to the side and get out of fighting position. I'm like Alice, if this was the curse that the bed gave you, I'm not sure it's a very good curse. You you just look prettier. Yeah. He'll give you like he'll give you like a little little head nod, just like. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> I. I... Go ahead. Um. Well, uh, so it, I think I have a couple of things that I'd like to do before we go. Um, and um, but we should make haste. Uh, as, as fun as last night was, uh, you know, I, I didn't sleep very well last night thinking about how we should get going as quickly as possible. I, <clears throat> I'm inclined to agree, but not before breakfast. Yeah, I mean, we've made you miss several good, good meat, good meals, so. One for the road, we we can't miss one. She'll like continue picking out like a flower and like looking at them and just putting in her bag. <laughs> um I'll just forage some berries as we're as we're going along. Um I don't want to waste time anymore. I'm I'm gonna go and, and do uh I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. Risk. Yeah. Let's just assume. That is the end of everything that we know. There's enough time for bread and cordial. Okay, but quickly. You all like cheese? Oh, yes, please. Yes. All right. What kind? Um... All of the kinds, good. except the kinds that really, really smell bad. <clears throat> All right. Sounds good. If it smells um, like my feet, then I don't want to eat. It's also not true. That's it. <laughs> it so you should, in true fashion, heavy size. <laughs> And um, he um, comes out with a plate of uh, cheddar, Swiss, uh, 
actually a second cheddar of uh, it's more aged, um, fairly sharp, and uh, as well as this um, large, uh, like, pile of brie as well. Help yourselves. I grabbed like a handful. Yeah, before you even gotten to the help yourselves part, Cora's already, already like, already. ah! Yeah. <laughs> sure. Sure, absolutely. Like, I, I I take a bread roll and then dig my hand into the middle of it and then grab a, a bunch of the cheese and then stuff the cheese into the nice little hole that I just made and then grasp it so I've got like a cheese ball now. Um, mm. And I kind of use it to cheers and, boom, and I walk out. Okay. As you walk out, don't forget the cordial. You're going to choke to death. And you know what? That's a good idea. I didn't think of just jamming cheese in there. <laughs> As uh, in classic rogue fashion, uh, Tamarisk walks away. Um, what are the rest of you doing before before that? I think Alice is gonna just like continuously throughout breakfast gonna just pester like our little our magic user um party members like do you think it's Misanis? Do you think Misanis did this? Is this part of the, the thing? The thing? Just all the whole the whole breakfast. You know what? Give me a moment. Um give me ten minutes. Detect magic on your head. Hey, very cool. <laughs> okay. So in the meanwhile and in between while, um, uh, brother, brother uh, Yerick stirs. Didn't actually take my own advice. It's just like, like rubs his head. <laughs> it's fine. Cordial will help, and he pours himself a glass. It was it was quite good, but just cool. Some strange dreams. Afterwards. Oh, if it's any consolation, it looks great. Yeah, flower power or something like that. Yeah, who knew you could do that? Well, I mean, I won't have to pick them and put them in my hair anymore. I guess that takes care of one thing. Hmm. Wait, wait, wait. We can do that one cool thing. And, uh... Core tries to make a brooch using drear craft that looks like your little flower headband for you. Awesome. Um, okay. And he's just like so. over your hand and your arm, like focusing his magic. And it's like, hopefully you like that. Oh my God. Thank you. Oh, it's beautiful. Thank you. Getting quite good at that. I, I've been practicing after it's 10 minutes uh processes if you will um and you can audible this if you would like to alice mm -hmm. but nor you get the you definitely detect magic if you will and there's an air of enchantment to it. Looks like they're enchanted, but oh. I don't see anything bad. It looks like I don't know. I'm well, still new to this. Well, that's that's good. I can live with not not cursed. I don't Enchant think it's cursed. Good. Well, enchanted sounds has a better ring to it. Yeah, very pretty. Oh, thank you. Maybe, maybe it, it, it is Musanus. Maybe it was the. But that means maybe you, any of you, will have have something cool like that. Well, so Cole got the got the sword, and now you have the enchanted flowers. Maybe um, every night we sleep, somebody else will get a blessing or a gift. Yeah, maybe you get a cure for your bad gas. Uh, <laughs> it's eating the food in this bag, and. <laughs> 
there's a, a coughing motion as uh, as Scrag chokes on his, his cordial. What is the anti guidance? The anti guidance. <laughs> <laughs> Bane? Bane. <laughs> do I have Bane? How do I get Bane? I want to change my spells real quick. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Can you? What give? I, what I can give, I can take away. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, um, amazing. Um, so why don't we, why don't we just check in on Tamarisk as you, um, head out, uh, the beautiful morning sun, um, sort of, uh, warming uh your fur um in this temperate climate yeah um, so you mentioned yeah go ahead i'm sorry oh no i was just gonna say you mentioned uh shopping um yeah. and something you've noticed in your your uh time here um is there have been you've seen creatures trade different textiles and uh tailoring um, some woodworking uh, materials um, as well. Um, it did pass by what appears to be um, a small um, smithy um, as well, from a weaponry perspective. Okay. Um, and there was also someone that was uh, trading for um, cordials and potions and things like that as well. Okay. Uh, that's super helpful. So I'm thinking to myself, uh, I, I like I wake up after this long rest and I think to myself, I seem to have the ability or, or desire to um, to disguise myself. Um, and I want to look around for somebody that is like having uh, some sort of, I don't know, makeup or or something along those lines and fashion together some sort of disguise kit. Um, and the same thing, and actually I might go and talk to Brother Yurik for this instead because I would love uh, the ingredients for a poisoning kit as well. Okay. Um, so you look around for a while um, and you, um, you actually find yourself in this, um, what appears to be this fairly... Um, common space in um, sort of right underneath um, as you sort of maneuver uh, um, via the pulley system uh, down the tree and there's this long um, or a long expanse with a uh, a bit of um, chatter there's about 20 to 30 folks a um, bit of a not, not quite a commerce center um, but um, a meeting place, really. And uh, right in the middle is this uh, large pond that folks typically are, like, walking by and, like, scooping up some water and then sort of handing out. Um, and from a, if you're looking out for someone putting uh, makeup on, um, you see this small mole that's wearing a... Uh, and for the most part, you've seen as most folks are wearing a... Um, the traditional robe garments. Um, she's wearing this large, floofy pink dress and is seemingly taking a small, um, with her digging claw, it's like, that's out like this. And there's a large, like pink, almost like dab of some sort of material on the end. And just is like right down the cheek and then rubs it in with the back end of uh, her uh, her paw. Um, okay. Uh, I would like to come up to her and uh, and say, "My, that makeup is doing wonders for your for your skin. You you look like a a totally different person." Oh, it's, uh, thank you, sir. I uh, really quite appreciate uh, the uh, compliment. I, um, by the way, my, my name is Tamaris. What is your name? Ooh. Oh, the ticket was not ready for the name thing. Um, one second. Because I did not have that tab up. <laughs> Usually pretty good about this. Um, one sec.
Hmm. Well, my friends, they uh, typically call me Tater. So, P pleasure, Tater. Tater, that's that's a that's a fine name. Um, now, I um, I don't know if you know what I am. Uh, or did were you were you there last night at the talent show? And just like it, like as you're having this conversation, just massaging in the other cheek. Oh yeah, no, but um, you you had quite a performance. Yes, thank you. Um, well, so I mentioned that we are going on, uh, or rather, my, my colleague mentioned that we're going on a rather uh, dangerous mission, and I was wondering if perhaps you would be willing to help in the effort by um, by perhaps donating this to the cause, uh, because. My thought is is that there is going to be some some sneaking around and hiding in shadows and those sorts of things, and I just want to. Um, I don't have a manner of doing this. You see, my my face is very um, distinct with these very large cheeks that I probably have only mentioned once uh, the entire time of this campaign, despite basically uh, building my character around them. <laughs> Through. <laughs> I have the conversation to prove it. <laughs> um, so as you as you say that, do you mind if I and like shakes a dinging claw towards your face? Yeah, absolutely. And then you feel that like this like cold like almost like a poultice begin to massage into your cheeks and then begins to buff it in. Um, I take, I take out my dagger and I like use it as a mirror. Oh, it's like he, he just packs out. No, 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 I use it as a mirror because I don't have a mirror. <laughs> oh, you serious? I, well, uh, the life of an adventurer is rather, rather dangerous. Um, I, of course I don't mean any harm. I'm sorry. I, sometimes it just comes naturally to those with, um, you know, in, in my profession to, to whip out weapons willy nilly. Uh, Don't so, take you see you on a bad day. So I'm looking Pull at it. Daggers out on a good day. <laughs> um, uh, I look at it and say, "Oh, that's that's rather beautiful." Um, would you would you be willing to part with this? It like <laughs> grabs the and, then, and places it on the other cheek and then begins to uh, buff it in as well. No, 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 no. Um, perhaps I'm not being clear. Uh, I I would love. All of your makeup, and like takes a, a pace back, and kind of like looks at you. You wanting my makeup, not wanting to try it on first. Well, you did, and I um, I looked I in my mirror, and it looks good, and I, I I like it. So now we are at the part of the transaction where I propose um, that. You give it to me. <laughs> Make a persuasion check. Okay. Oh, I don't have any friends around, so I don't this get it. This sounds advantage. like an armed robbery, honestly. <laughs> you're not with us. You're on your own. It's really nice makeup you got there. It's a uh, shame. That's a it's shame. It's a shame. 17. More than enough. <laughs> to be clear, the DC was like 10. Okay, cool. Uh, she's, she's into it. Um, and kind of clasps a hand like like so, and um, reaches into the like a, the long sleeve of her long dress, and uh, hands you a large collection of this makeup, and you see that there are like uh, you don't really have a digging claw, so um, how do you plan to? Apply. Uh, so I, I, I don't know, man. I was just thinking fingers. <laughs> I don't know much about makeup. A stick. You'll need a stick. A stick. I, I, I look down <laughs> and find a stick on the ground, and I say, "This is now my makeup claw." That's not exactly sanitary. Random stick on. The floor of the tree? 
Yes, well, it's, it's a risk I'll, I'll have to take here, I suppose. I'm only going to be doing it once or twice, so I, I'm not too worried about uh, Hopefully, I don't have to use it at all. Um, this makeup for once or twice? Well, I will bring Doom back... strange beasts. I will bring back and, and give back whatever I do not use. This is a just-in-case kind of situation. Hands it to you. Nice. <laughs> you good luck. And like, kind of slaps a digging claw like on your shoulder, pats it about like two more than you than prob she probably should have. Um... Very cool. Um, okay, can I can I add disguise kit? Will that count as a disguise kit? Sure. Yeah. Fantastic. Absolutely. All right, cool. And then uh, I'll go back, and I, I think Brother Yurik probably has something that could, um, could like, double as a poison thing because he's all—he's got these, you know, lots of chemistry sort of things and whatever. Um, and maybe there's like a batch that went bad. You could ask him. Okay. When you head back up top. <laughs> Anywho. Um, unless there's anything else you wanted to shopping. Uh, no, no. Just, I mean, like, I kind of want to, I do want a poisoner's kit. I just, you know, I don't know how successful my conversation with, with Brother Yurik will be. Uh, so, yeah. Good to know. Actually, you said that there were people with baubles and stuff outside already, right? Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'll just go and talk to them and see if they can do Up some you. donations to the cause as well. All right, let's do that. Okay, sure, absolutely. Uh, and make a uh, make a make an investigation check on it. Let's see if there's a there's a lot of that. But let's see if you find the specifics of what you are looking for here. So I got a four. <laughs> Um, oh, Ziva, thanks for the, thanks for the, uh, the sub, my dude. Really appreciate it. You are never late. You arrive precisely when you meant to. We're all wizards, you know? Anyway. Um, yeah. There, like, there, there's a sense that folks are delighted to talk to you. There's a bit of a conversation, uh, a bit of small talk that probably you're just, like, you're not really all that super deeply interested in, and uh, but they they don't have what you're looking for. This happens four times. Okay, um, good enough. So as we flip back, so I'm assuming you're heading back to absolutely uh, to the house. Um, anyway, Coronora, Alice, station brother here. <laughs> um, as uh, you wrap up, begin to wrap up. Uh, breakfast and um, in true uh, true true scrag fashion was a bit of a sigh and then you know I was about to say that uh, it's a big day but you already know that yeah we, we <laughs> go big or we go home can't go home. Not yet. Can't go home. Brother Eric, speaking of going home, um, there's a, me a matter of that to resolve as well. Um, me going home, um, and perhaps with this new information of uh, of uh, what we've all learned in the past, uh, you know, day or so. Yeah, you should probably do that and maybe tell um, our parents that we're fine, mostly. That would make sense. That would we, make sense. Um, I think you should be but fine also, to get um, back safely. We've cleared the roads, mostly, I think. That's fair. Also, how? I don't even know how I got here. I'm sure, um... I'm learning a lot about that. If we go see the tree, um, they could, he could, it could help you get back, or get to Redwall? 
Yeah, there, there's sure to be one closer than than here. Definitely make the trip faster for you. Perhaps you can establish a treaty of some sort. Ooh. Ooh. I gotta go. Good night, everyone. Ooh. Jesus. <laughs> that might be the worst one ever. That might be actually the worst one of all time. Of all fucking reach. time. Also, how how dare you? <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> Negative D6 inspiration. Oh, bang. Now the and everything that disadvantage. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that. Um, that just, oh, I, right in my soul. Anyway. <laughs> um, well, while they're talking, any leftovers, Nora's putting in their, her bag. Yeah, it smells really bad in that bag, by the way. Yeah, it's fine. Do we, oh. Nora and I can eat out of it. Oh, it's, it's, oh, oh, it's like, it's, it's, it's like this close to being a compost bag. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'd, I'd argue that we're definitely there. Oh. You know I what? Like maybe how we've said it went to liquid. We've only been gone for like two days. You know what? Like maybe the food Tavis, hasn't gone maybe, bad yet. Maybe just maybe that's your poison kit. It's just bag. <laughs> As Dimple just... said, magic. <laughs> there should be some bag. There should be some poisonous liquid or spore in here somewhere that is, you know, you can put on a knife. <laughs> oh. You're muted. Muted. Can can this be the moment where I open up the door and I'm sort of Absolutely like, like guys. Um, good news, I got a disguise kit, but I'm looking for a poison. And I, you're, you're all, like, <sighs> about to vomit in, into, this, Excellent. into this sack. Oh, <laughs> smell. Um, I was looking for a poisoning kit, but I think you may, um, you may have solved my problem. Uh, you're more than I, I can to fix help this. Yourself. I can fix this. All I have to do is... Purify I, I, it. I mean, I can as well, but we don't need it. I, I mean, if anyone else wants to eat, eat the top part. The top part's the freshest, and then Kwon and I can eat from the bottom of the bag up, and you eat from the top of the bag down, and we'll meet in the middle where it's somewhat questionable. <laughs> so the worst bag! God. <laughs> bag would just say, well, as long as you believe that to be the case um personally i'll pass um and brother believe uh, it. i have so many feelings about what just happened right now um wait was that, that a Naruto reference a hundred percent it was <laughs> uh to the point where i want to respond haruka kanata but uh i'm gonna leave it alone <laughs> Because I had to do him a game. <laughs> um, anyway. So, uh, so Brother Yarek. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, so, uh, Temerisk, we were uh, just discussing um, my uh, heading home soon. Um, I believe we could. I, I don't know if it's the tree man thing we... Has a face strange. No issue with that. Strange days we have now, mm -hmm. apparently. Uh, but I hope, hopefully they can help me with that. Or um, is there another less magic -y way that is also safe? The magic way seems like maybe the safer way, also the quickest way. Okay, safe is really relative when you're talking about magic. Generally right. speaking, there's a 99-ish percent chance that nothing bad will happen. But that 1% bad can be incredibly bad. Like, absolutely right. world-endingly, you end up spliced into different places bad. I I feel worse. That I feel much worse. At, it's at... just a 1% chance, though. Oh, all right. Well, like, what's the... What's the one hundred percent chance of safety? There is, is none. No, none. Uh, you make kind of... alcohol. How could you possibly think anything has a one hundred percent chance of safety? Oh, it's much safer than the magical un. Uh, Render me this core. Would would alcohol splice me into oblivion? No, but you could you'd lose your eyebrows or, or perhaps explode yourself. But I would. 
like that. Oh, well, the second half, that's also, yeah. But I'm a professional. I could handle that. In oblivion. So it's kind of the same. I mean, yeah. If we drink Either way, and... there'd be lots of you in places you don't want it to be. <laughs> really good drink. And like, he, he, he doesn't wait for an answer. <laughs> Reaches back and just whoop. Um, Scraggs, Greg, Scrag says, there is the original way you walked in. Yes, but then you have to walk through the woods and we ran into bandits and they attacked us. I mean, oh yeah, you did run into bandits. We did take care of them, but who knows with things being how they are. The like, giant animals might be a problem. Yes. Yeah, personally, Brother Yarek, I, I would I would suggest we um, we teleport. Hey, this, if it's so, so easy, but okay, I guess. I mean, that's, truth be told, it is probably going to be the safest way for you to travel on your own. Thank you. And less traveling time means more time for drinking later. Mm hmm Less tired feet. Like, points at Nora. You convince me. It'll be <laughs> interesting. <clears throat> oh, see, why did you have to go and say that? I was all convinced up until just that moment right there. All right, I'm still convinced. That's fine. All right, we'll just hope for the best, yeah? Oh, it will right. be fine. Yep, sounds good. And as we're walking, I um, I might pick your brain about uh, about some of your more dangerous concoctions. Um, I'm looking for for something to use as poison. Hmm. I'm in the right, initially the wrong hands, but if uh, the right hands, if it's yours, pause, pause. Um, then. Th I believe we could put something together. Um, give me a little bit. Um, got to rummage through a few of the things. Well, actually, we could uh, we could push your cart, and you could sit on top of the cart as we travel, and uh, and you could concoct your your brew. I really love the sound of, and I could drink it. Uh, no, not not this one. We're definitely not drinking this one. This is this is for the bad guys. Are you sure? Oh, certainly. Uh, if if it goes right, then this is the wrong thing to drink. If it goes wrong, then sure, it's the right thing to drink. But this That's... is going to go right. That sounds very confusing. Yeah, just I remember also to myself. clearly label which one is going to be the poison, which one is the good to drink one. <clears throat> Perhaps we'll, right. we'll label it somehow with like an X or maybe a skull or something. Yes, this one will be the X, and if you drink it, it's going to give it to you. I don't get it. <laughs> Isn't X mark the spot? Don't you want to find the X? Uh, X, but but with the addition of the skull st on top of that X, um, that's and the X. Like pirates. Bad pirate. Oh, bad pirate. Okay, bad pirates. Like, but mm. there's no such thing as a bad pirate. All pirates are pretty cool. Good. I, 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 I like point. pirates. <laughs> I, I've met some really nice pirates in my life. Pirates are just misunderstood. I mean, outside of the looting and pillaging, everything's great. How about this? How about but we just write the word... Village for their family? We write the word poison on top. Yes. And Exclamation common. point. Poison. Um, assuming this conversation is happening, walking and talking, um, on the way out, and there are something that's new that, for the most part, when you got to Skull Kalara, there was people were staring, curious, but not confronting, or, um, really anything much larger than that. But as you walk, there's a smattering of clapping and just and like a, a nods of like absolute like 
not adoration, but confirmation of who you are, what you represent, and what you believe that you're about to do as you utilize the pulley system to head all the way down to the forest floor and head out into uh, into the forest, the familiar white fog beginning to um, envelop you. Um, and without much issue this particular time, um, you eventually uh, make your way to the small island of uh, Nisanis. And, um, and you have to, you know, you kind of wade through the water that separates the island from the remainder of the forest and uh, sort of head up um, everyone in tow. Sasha, you seem to have the best relationship with Eusenes. Uh would, would you mind uh, asking if we could get passage down to South Sword? We said us if you wouldn't mind trying to resolve the situation, of course, and here we are. Also, could you send Brother Yarek back home in the meantime? And he just goes, I would love that, actually. That would be wonderful. Um, and um, Ysenis, uh takes a minute and responds after a while. Tamaris, do you wish to go back from where we sent you? Um, yes, I do. All right. Everyone else wishes to do the same. All right. Well, then, our young shrew, stay with me a while. Oh, great. Uh, and he kind of spins around. Well, I suppose this is um, goodbye for now. Um, you know, it's amazing. We... Many of us have been in the same area, but not really known each other, but... Today, though, difficult, terrifying, and uh, very alcoholic. I look forward to our continuing, burgeoning, uh... Friendship? Yes. Oh, it's awkward now. Leave me a keg, you know, please. Absolutely. Um, Brother Yerick, I, I've i very much enjoyed meeting you. Um, and I'm I'm glad we were able to um, to run into each other, as we did. Yes, me too. Uh, I, uh, especially the whole portal and magic thing. Um, I'll tell you what, do me a favor. I'm going to make for your eventual return, heroically, of course, um, make a special batch for all of you. Call not just a keg. We're going to make that the main event of your heroic feast. But I need a name. For uh, the beverage that I'm about to prepare, of course. And each of you, I'll tell you what, we'll make this really interesting. Each of you get to pick an ingredient, and I will take care of the rest. Oysters. <laughs> All right. We're Alex just off. makes a face and, like, oysters. <laughs> All right. Well, well, I can. If it's for everyone, we should pick that. something that everyone likes. likes. Ow. Oh. Um, 
lemonade. All right, oysters and lemonade. All right. I mean, you That's, can uh, use the oysters if other people are into the oysters, but I mean. It depends on if everyone's vetoing the oysters, because then you just get to pick another, another ingredient. I am willing to give it a shot. Oysters. All right, then, I suppose. Oysters and lemonade. All right. Wait, that was two ingredients for one. That's fine. Anyway, please. Uh, you know what? An oyster shandy so far is what we're where we're headed. So what else would you like me to add to this? Mint. Mint. That's that tracks. All right. Oyster mint lemonade. Um, shandy. All right. How about some mace? M mace? Mm hmm Like the metal? No, like no, the it's, weapon? no, no, it's a, um, it is a, a, uh, a type of s seasoning. A spicy herb? Yes. I have to step outside the game and say I have no idea what the fuck and you're I, talking about, Bill. It's, it's what's in no pepper clue. spray. It's the type of pepper. Oh, right. oh mace! It's type of Jesus spray. Christ, of course. Yeah, they, uh, oh. it's like, it's like nutmeg. Oh um, my god. Uh, and they Very spicy. Like, I am both embarrassed and proud of this moment. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> Jacob Plick, never been prefaced for Yeah, you got, fuck? you got me very <laughs> nervous that I was like, um, um, um. Did I just no, say, great. did I just say sword? <laughs> <laughs> you stir it with a mace and it's just. I'm, oh, I'm so happy. Um, okay. <laughs> mace. Got it. All right. So he's okay. Uh, this so is lemonade, mace, right? Mint. Um, mint. How about? Oh, I want something that would that that has been very important for this journey that has unified us together. But I don't. Fish. That that's where we started. But we have oysters. Pie! The pie! When we stole the pie together, that was our <laughs> first big thing. Yeah. All right, what kind of pie was this? Well, it was all the pies. All right. What? So pie. Pie flavor. Let's go with, um, apple. Okay. Or, or chocolate. Okay with apple? Chocolate pie. Chocolate. Chocolate. chocolate apple pie. I, all right. That, you know, even for me, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> this isn't an intense drink. The, the, the layers of flavoring is going to be. It's going to be chalky. He just he's like he's like his like eyes kind of like roll back for a second. He's like, I don't think it's a shandy anymore. It's more of a porter. <laughs> Maybe a mead. Oh, a mead. This is like we can make this work. I can make this work. This is like what was it? The Morgan, are you taking notes? <laughs> You have to make this now. <laughs> what was that thing in like Willy Wonka that's supposed to be like the 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 oh, like the, meal? All the meal. Yeah. This is that in drink form. This is like this is like your oyster, <laughs> your oyster appetizer, your your mm, pie, yeah. drinks. I. This sounds right. like some of the the uh, the Halloween ales. These are your Oktoberfest where they're like, you know what this needs? More spices. Yeah. <laughs> and you taste this that is, shit. And you're like, me, oh, like, why? This is right? giving me. Turkey soda, like energy. <laughs> yes, turkey. Oh, yeah, because they had oh, that one. The that Jones like the sodas. Yes. that's the Thanksgiving yeah. flavor. Thanksgiving, yeah. Yeah. Stuffing, dressing, so yeah. I mean, this is like a, th those Wawa sandwiches where they put like entire <laughs> Thanksgiving dinner into a sandwich. Okay, those yeah. are good. Yes. Those are They're good. pretty good though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a Wawa. All right. <laughs> okay, so um, lots of ingredients. So, what do we? What do we settle on for this one? For... <laughs> Jesus Christ, guys! We call it amazing. <laughs> Oysters, <laughs> yep. lemonade, mm -hmm. mint, yep. mace, chocolate apple pie. Chocolate apple pie. All right. Is uh, is that everyone? I don't think. Sersha, what would you like to add? Blueberry. I thought it was gonna be some animal for sure. No, you. I thought it was gonna be blackberries. <laughs> You've sort of resolved the whole with the oyster situation. That is true. 
The berries would be very good, though. But very good, even. Very, very good. Right. Well, before I get an additional hangover headache, I should probably. You should probably go. Go ahead, and uh, I'll. Uh, if I make it back home, okay, I'll. Uh, I'll get on that. If you'll be fine. I don't know that one percent. I'm really concerned about. One percent is better than like the higher percent on the trail. I mean, we we're gonna travel like that, so if we trust <clears> it, <throat> it should be good enough. Suppose, I suppose. Okay. Well, um, let me, uh, I suppose we'll be here, Finn. Um, thank you for the adventure and chat and almost getting electrocuted and, uh, oh, yeah. Brother Yer, were you able to create a po um, poison for me? Oh, right, I almost forgot. Uh, and, uh, hands you a large, like, leather-bound, um, case. And uh, it is indeed a poisoner's kit. Hell yeah. Dude, I just saved us so much money. How much is the poisoner's kit? 50 gold. Which, Did you switch which is great because currency doesn't exist in this world. It's awesome. Uh, cool. So you make poisons? You can make your own poison now? Yeah, basically. Uh, so my intention is to basically just dip arrows and shit in it. And then... Okay, I like that. That's very good. So just good. dipped it in our bag. And once that gets yeah. in someone's blood, yeah. we don't have penicillin in this world either. So. I, mean, I mean, you know what? That could, I mean, <laughs> actually, actually the, the left-hand upper corner is now penicillin. Yeah, that's like, that's like <laughs> layer... In that corner. Like layer two is penicillin. Like if, if, you, if the other part of it, if the rest of the bag needs to just make sure you grab a little bit of that part. Yeah. <laughs> you eat from the left side, you die. The right side, you're cured. <laughs> bag of curing and, and death. Great. Cool. Yuck. So. Are we ready? Let's do it. Yes. Good. To adventure. And there's a yellowish flash of blinding light and you are disappeared and find yourselves on the grasslands of southward about 45 feet off of the uh, particular beaten path and I think considering Crystal's not here I think we're going to leave it there as one last thing. That darkness is getting really close. At this point, that confrontation is happening soon. Very, very soon. Mm -hmm. So, a little early for us, but I think apropos... Uh, so, that was still pretty fun, though. Um, and once again, need to give a quick shout out to one Morgan Peter Brown for Brother Yarek, uh, as, uh, one day we will resolve, uh, his existence, first of all, and, uh, existence. see how successful, uh, <laughs> this new, uh, this new ale Oh. <laughs> Ale question mark? I don't think it's fair to even like call it concoction. Concoction is the word. Concoction oh, is a great this word. Is, this for concoction it. is like, absolutely this, the word. This feels like in the realm of what was it a um, hangover cure? This is what this feels like. It might be. It might be. <laughs> one way to find out, I suppose. I mean, one way to cure a hangover is to die. So <laughs> <laughs> wake yeah. up. Oh shoot! I should have level like, like and bring you back after you pickle fell out. Pickle juice. Oh, I mean, yeah. Ooh, picklebacks. I mean, pickles with oysters. That actually sounds like it would that work, sounds right? Good, yeah, like, that, that actually might, work. Is that a might drink. actually tie it. I'll, it like I'll, a, I'll, I'll allow it. I'll allow it. You're just like as of the the as of the light. Ah, pickle juice. Yeah, get that <laughs> get that bullshit, <laughs> bullshit mace out of here. Pickle juice. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay, but the mace works because that could be like hot sauce. It's so, like pickle juice, hot sauce, and oyster. Ooh. Ooh. Take the take the pie out and put in pickle juice. 
I made a grave mistake! <laughs> what did you say? It was the other P word! Pickles, yeah, that's why! Right. An oyster shooter beer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, sure. Ooh. One way to find out. Um, yeah, um, we're we're gonna have to find out. Um, but Zeva's gonna give it a shot, apparently. Uh, so you you gotta let us know how that goes. Yeah, good luck, buddy. Uh, <laughs> good fucking luck. Um, you, uh, like, <laughs> but April will give you guidance. <laughs> guidance? Anyway, as always, thank you all so much for being here. Uh, as the dream continues, uh, episode 10B <laughs> next week. Uh, just kidding. Episode 10. Um, and uh, as always, and oh, this fucking cast, man, just makes me so happy. Literally every goddamn game, as much as Dipples is trying to fucking kill me. Because <laughs> how dare you escalate the timeline by saying your puns out loud instead of letting me grimace as I DM, sir? It's okay. I I'm trying to it's be okay. a team player. I want to make sure that I bring our audience in because uh, I want this place to be like Olive Garden when you're here, your family. Uh, and so the family gets to suffer through the puns as well. Fair enough. Have I, 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 cause we ended early. I had to tell this story. Um, have I told y'all a story about uh, the, cause you know how like when you go to uh, uh, Olive Garden and you get cheese on your salad and they're like, so, say when, right? So I'm in Daytona Beach, Florida. And, oh, no. And they begin to do so. And I just stare at the waiter, right? And he's and he's just like for and he and like he just goes, right? And like I have a mount a mountain of cheese. And then he be, he's like he just goes, okay. And then it begins to fan around my plate. Mm -hmm. And then it begins to fan around the outer rim of my plate. And then it be, he begins to maneuver all around the table. And I just, and I just I just I'm just like and I'm just staring at him, like refusing like, to quit. It's like that it was like the the, uh, the Star Wars like more, more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, more. Yeah, and uh, legitimately, like somebody came over and was like, "What are you doing?" <laughs> <laughs> but by the end of it, because I was like, "I will not surrender, sir. I will what? not surrender." Uh, no, I say good day. Brick. The entire it's, block is in there. It's, never give up. Never, never surrender. Give up, never <laughs> surrender. Yes. Galaxy Quest. Fucking great movie. Uh, yeah. So, um, God, that was like fucking 12 years ago. Jesus. Anyway, I love, I love Olive Garden. That one in particular. That waiter should make a lot more money because that was super funny. Um, oh, I almost forgot the big punchline, which is he put it all over my shoulders. <laughs> 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 yeah, he literally went up and down my shoulders. I forgot about that part. You deserve like, that. Yeah, Honestly, yeah, totally you did. deserve that totally. shit. Totally. <laughs> like, you forward. earned this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like how there was, like, this weird That's... mind war going on between yeah. you and this. There was. Like the, um... Yeah, no regards whatsoever. Who's who was it? So who did break first? Um... Uh, he did because the Personally? manager came over. Okay. <laughs> the manager's like, what the fuck, bro? What, the fuck what, you, are, what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> you can't what season, happening? you can't you season our customer. Yeah, yeah, right. Someone yeah. find <laughs> this waiter. This battle is not over. Yeah, I, got, I hope you, you tipped really him good tip really, him. really, really that, well. Oh, oh, of course. Because I don't want to be in trouble, right? No, I, yeah. I tipped him really, really well. <laughs> Super cool guy. Um, anyway, before we get out of here, um, these people, uh, if you're a big fan of these people like I am, which you fucking should be, um, they got shit going on this week, too. Um, some of them multiple weeks, if they want to tell us about that, too. Uh, so we're going to start um, with the my favorite person to have an intro. So my favorite person to have an outro, April Reagan. What's happening? Oh, no. You're not supposed <laughs> to start with me. You never start with me. This is, I do. I did this time. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm April. I played your never clerical ever. otter, Nor. Uh, the Quinn of Core. Uh, I am on. You, Quinn of Core? The, the Quinn? The Quinn the of Quinn. Core, yep. I am the Quinn of Core. Uh, the Queen Bee. Like Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman. Yeah. Okay. I used to love that show when I was a kid. I did not understand wow. it, it, but me and my grandma watched it. I didn't understand shit what the hell was show. going on that show. <laughs> no, I was real invested it. in that. I was no one, real invested no one in Dr. Quinn. That, show. that one in Touched by an Angel. Real invested. Yo! Yes, man. those are like back yeah, to back. The, 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 yeah. This was yeah. I'm at grandma's house. Yeah. Yeah. This is what we're watching. Yeah. Yep. Yep. But yep. back to me. Uh you can find <laughs> me everywhere as April Ray Gun. Um, hey. I'm all over the place. I'm also at the same time over on um, another channel that I suddenly forgot. Fortnerd.com. Yeah, that channel. Oh, on Fortnerd. Tales of show. Dread. I'm also Sundays, come check us out. 
uh, also with Prince, where I DM Strixhaven, um, where you get to see me fail at intros, outros, and breaks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, that's just follow. I don't know. So please save me. Anyway. I want. I, I'll put it this way. I want someone out there. This is a re <laughs> official request to cut together April's fail intro outro breaks and put it together. I will give you like a hundred dollars. I'm dead serious. <laughs> I want it. I want it. Anyway, Dimples, what's happening? I'm, I'm trying to figure out how April can be this bad at this. It's like amazing. every week we do every this week. together weekly on multiple, multiple times shows. a week. <laughs> on multiple times. And on some of them, I have a script. Yes. <laughs> Oh, you know what, April? <laughs> uh, do not worry about it. Um, because when we were doing like the old old school stuff, like uh, they, whoever actually, I think Duval, you were not, you were not there one night or something like that. And I was like, I did all the ads and stuff. Yeah, yeah, right. And I was like, listen, I'll take over tonight. <laughs> or maybe you weren't feeling well or something like that. And yeah. I basically just like insulted all the people that were our sponsors. And I was like, you know, it's just, it's fine. Look, <laughs> it's fine. I, wow. So yeah, <laughs> I'm Prince. <laughs> also known as Double Nice. Two outros. Yeah. This is Morden. Double outro. Uh, hey! You can find me over on my channel, uh, twitch.tv slash dimples and dice. Uh, I am a T2RPG slash variety streamer. I'm going to be getting back into more gaming streams here sh soon, so do be on the lookout for that. Uh, let's see what I have going on. Today is Tuesday, so the next yes. time you'll see me is... No, that, we're, we're canceled for this week. Shit. I'm trying to think. Well, Saturday. I know stuff's happening Saturday for sure. So come see me on Saturday over on Vancouver by night at 6 p.m. Eastern time for Delve Into Darkness, where I play the Banu Hakim Assassin slash Seneschal of the Camarilla in Vancouver. Uh, and then come catch me uh, immediately after that over on Philly by night over on my sister station, Roland D's 20s, uh, where I am the storyteller for that chronicle and that's getting wild as we get into the meat of this season and our group is uh literally fucking around and then finding out because that's how things work uh and then on sunday at 11 a.m eastern time you can catch me as the uh dm for uh wayward revelry a D D 5e e a uh, campaign based in Wabi on the Witch Light. So if you want some Faye Wild shenanigans uh, and hags and people one shotting uh, giant snakes with inflict wounds, you should come and see us. <laughs> More stuff to come. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Inflict wounds is like a top five best spell in the entire game. Denver. I swear to God, I, I one of my God. my badass enemies got hit for sixty damage with one inflict wounds. From a level three character or level four character, three character, four, something like that. Anyway, um, it got exploded, and I didn't exploded. know really what to do because that was not <laughs> what I was planning on for that fight. What's, a, what's a plan? Have y'all met you? Jesus. Oh. Anyway, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Lynn, what's happening? Hey, I'm uh, Lynn. Uh, Gremlin art pretty much everywhere, Twitter, Twitch, and uh, you can catch um, me catch my art there. Like this, love all the little like uh, Redwall so characters. And uh, next time you'll see me is tomorrow on uh, Fall Black Cats for our Hex Crawl Spy Game campaign, where we are going to have a fight on a plane. And uh, yeah, we just ah, I can't wait. We 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 have a good map. Everything's gonna be rad. And um, on Saturday, it's uh, two games. You have Scion, uh, Birth of New Gods on uh, the Monster Society, where I get to play a little Katuna Godling. And on uh, Pasigora Desiporius' channel, it is the second episode of our uh, Starbullet Battalion, a mech game, mech hunt game. Where I get to play a feisty mech pilot, because clearly I don't have a problem with like tiny, tiny models of like mechs. Nope, totally not. Clearly. Sure that. <laughs> You love to see it. Nothing wrong with that. So, Bill, what are you up to? <clears throat> Actually, not a whole lot. Uh, I am taking off uh, the AMGM show that I do on Fridays with PB Smitty. 
Um, I was off last week for a conference. I'm off this week for for vacation, and I probably will take off next week as well, the week following, just because uh, I get back on Thursday, and I don't know how tired I'm going to be. Um, so uh, normalize taking vacation for mental health, um, and uh, sure. and especially going to Austria. Could no, no normalize Austrian vacation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm that's still getting of, heat about it. Weird weird uh weird shirt that's a, a shirt coming to some new weird dot com forward slash the amphitheater. <laughs> coming soon. <laughs> Normalize on Austrian vacations. Big old Bill fan. Yeah, but other than that, you can find me on Twitter. I don't tweet that much. The majority of my my tweeting activity is uh is is trying Wrong. to <laughs> is trying to prod uh <laughs> Smitty into into like basically making fun of me and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't indeed he picks his spot nothing wrong with that and i am always the duval king jacob king of hugs lord of duval uh storyteller here uh in my uh don't tell my duval dragons cast it's my favorite game but you know what can you do you know you just love you love all your children the way the way the, whether they're children of destiny or peacekeepers anyway doesn't matter wait you um, just told your other children that you love the, someone else more than us <laughs> yeah that's uh, yeah I think that's uh, what I, you just did no nope, i don't know how not at all. Feel about this not is it because all. of my puns is that what it is a hundred percent a hundred percent your fault it's ironic because, because the the bit was that you guys were my favorite. <laughs> That's the irony about that. Anyway. Yes, but we don't listen. I know. <laughs> we got to get an really F in this class. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> anyway, all good. Uh, tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, 8 p.m. Eastern time, right here on the Amphitheater, uh, Duel's Gaming Journey. We're going to continue uh, our journey through my favorite video game of all time, Chrono Trigger. Um, we're in a really difficult spot, uh, like classic JRPG goodness when you're stuck at a really awful boss fight. So that should be fun to deal with. Um, or we'll play Sonic or Metroid or something like that. I don't know. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Um, Thursday, which is why I'm wearing this, Outcast and Outclass, our Pathfinder 2E actual play Strength of a Thousands campaign, where I play Hideaki, our Empty Sky Consent Summoner. And shit is bad because someone's trying to evade our school and I took a literal nat 20 to the shoulder via uh, crossbow bolt. I'm at, I literally went from 30 hit points to 14. It's bad. Ooh. I might die. And if you've been watching, there are larger ramifications than just my death. Because if I die, somebody else might die. It's really wild. So you should find out what happens. Waffles Maple Syrup's Twitch channel over there and at 8 p.m. on Thursday. And then Sunday um, on uh, so many Games Twitch channel, Dragonlance, Dragons of Rebirth, where I play Professor Isonal. Uh, and a lot is about to happen, actually, because of our charity stream last week. Um, two of the characters that were in that game, canonically, were turned into T-Rexes by one of my du Duel on Dragons NPCs. And shit's about to go absolutely ridiculous because of that. Because there aren't any T-Rexes in Dragonlance, and uh, we're going to break the world. Also, there's two Professor Isolot. Anyway, there's a lot of things happening. 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, twist.tv forward slash so many games. Find me on Twitter. I'm yelling about something awesome and giving you hearts and love all the time anyway. Um, with that, as we like to always remind you, Black Lives Matter, trans rights are human rights, and stop Asian hate, and you are not alone. We're really uh, glad that you're here and glad that you're around still. So don't go nowhere. Um, and especially with everything that's going on right now, Stay fucking safe, take care of yourself, and take care of each other. Bill, who are we rating? Uh, we're going to throw it over to So Many Games, who is ah, playing yes. some Ravenloft. So they are indeed over <laughs> our uh, my good buddy Jeremy, who is uh, in our Duval and Dragons campaign, is kicking ass over there. Let's see how many people he's killed already. It's Ravenloft. I mean, let's be honest. Uh, so let's drop some Duvals in there and say what's up. So once again, see you next week for 10B. And uh, what promises to be a pretty climactic event because we've only got six more episodes. No. Or do we? <laughs> yeah. dun, dun, dun. Good night, everybody. Stay tuned. <clears throat> Good night. Peace, peoples. Woo! All right. Uh, we
we should be out. Yes. Ah.